Hi everybody, this is Brenda with Be Balanced Art. Today we're going to be doing a flip cup. The colors I'm using are Artist Loft Vermilion. It's a beautiful color. Rust-Oleum Metallic Accents Amethyst. Artist Loft Metallic Red. <coughs> Deco Art 24 Karat Gold. And Dollar, Dollar Tree Blue. I'm also going to be using Rust-Oleum Metallic Accents Pearl White and uh, Apple Barrel White. <coughs> Sorry about the cough. I might have to get a cough drop. This was a previously used canvas, which I was actually very happy with how the painting came out, but I tried a different sealer and it turned it yellow, which is fine for some paintings because it actually gives a nice antique look, but when you're not going for an antique look, it really messes up your painting. I don't know if you can see inside this cup, but there's what it looks like. I've mixed all these colors in there. I layered them with drizzles, just very gentle drizzles, so they didn't mix too much. Hopefully I can do a flip cup on this bigger canvas. I've never done one on a big canvas like this before. First we're going to start with that, then I'm going to put some of this white around it to make sure it gets to my edges. And this canvas was cursed from the beginning because it started out bowed, but I used it anyway. And I actually painted this probably, I'd only been painting for a couple months when I painted this. So it was probably painted in January, probably in February of this year, because I haven't been painting that long. But I love it, and I became quickly addicted to it. And painting gives me something to do that's fun and interesting and uh, something to look forward to every day. As long as I'm feeling up to it, I'm painting. Hopefully, between the cup and the canvas, I have enough paint. I have my giant push pins in the bottom, holding. To show you one. It keeps the canvas off the table, making it easier to pick up and tilt. Oh, I got two. They look like this. They are very handy. I use a hammer to hammer them in, and then I pull them out by twisting them and pulling. If they don't come out, I get a quad hammer and force them out. Once in a while, they don't want to come out. But most of the time, they're relatively easily, easily removed. Put my gloves on. I'm using some really beautiful colors here, so I have high hopes for this one that I don't get mud. I have way too much paint. Getting some beautiful cells.
smash the whole cup over. Beautiful cells. That purple tends to take over if I'm not very careful with it. It looks like it's taken over in this one. Hate to lose that red stripe, but it looks like I'm going to have to to get this corner. paint so I have to pour some of it off. Right now I'm just working on composition. You're getting excess paint off. My paint calculator was really off on this one. All right, let me go rinse my hands. Well, I should check my corners first because there was one that got missed. I 
can't see both sides at the same time. So I'm going to go rinse my hands off and I'll be right back. Sometimes these paintings come out pretty much like you expect them to, and other times, like today for me, it really didn't come out like I expected. Sadly, it's very dark and dingy outside. It's going to storm today, so I don't have a very good lighting situation here. If I turn the overhead on, there's just going to be a lot of glare, so I'm going to try it without the overhead. I mix my paints, 50% paint, uh, paint, 50% Floetrol, and water to consistency. I use that same method on house paint. Um, on artist paints, and on craft paints. The same consistency, the same theory of mixing. Craft paints just need less water to get them down to the right consistency or sometimes no water. Let's see if I can get this camera off here without too much trouble. There you go. And it's very dark, but I'm just going to try and show you yesterday's pour, all dry. If there was more light, it would be a lot brighter for you, but it's pretty dark in here, so there. Hopefully that gives you enough idea of what I got here. The blues are very pretty. But I have to hold the camera just right for you to see it. Alright, today, today's painting. I think it's got a lot of interest. To me, interest is important. A lot of cells, a lot of veining, Some sort of dinosaur or duck right there in the middle. <laughs> Maybe it's a dino duck, I'm not sure. And there's a lot of my gold. Alright, well, I hope you enjoyed watching this. I sure enjoyed making it. Um, like I said, the lighting is not that great. Hopefully tomorrow it will be sunnier. Or the next time I paint, it'll be sunnier and I can show you the dry results. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Share it if you have friends that like this type of art. And comment. if Tell me what you thought of this pour. Thank you again for watching. This is Brenda with Be Balanced Art. Bye-bye.